Okay, so hopefully by now you've typed in 25 divided by 60 times by 12 into your calculator and you would have found it would have come up to a nice neat answer of 5. We can also work that out by looking at 12 at the top divided by 60. 12 goes into 60 5 times, which would leave 1, 5. 25 divided by 5 would equal just 5. So our x, which is in nautical miles, our x will be 5 nautical miles. So we want to go in this direction, 5 nautical miles. It just so happens we had our divider set up at 5 nautical miles. But let's just make sure that these are still at 5 nautical miles. Once again, at our, remember our map is like this, using our longitude. From here, 25 minutes to 30 minutes, so that's definitely five minutes and a minute on longitude is a nautical mile so that's five nautical miles we want to measure from this point a bearing of what was that one 32 degrees to there so that's our final position that position right there we need to mark that so for example we should be looking that looking somewhat east to see Hull Island and Bevelac Island. Okay. We possibly would want to get a fix on our position from there. Luckily our whole journey has been on the sea, which looks about uh, which makes sense. If we'd actually gone past or straight through an island, we pretty much would be a dead giveaway that we've made an error in our calculations because hopefully the boat hasn't followed that too. So what we've got is from Reno Islet sailing 20 minutes at 12 knots at 150 degrees, starting at the island, heading this direction, 12 knots at 20 minutes will get us to here. Then 30 minutes at 10 knots at 307 degrees, 307 degrees back this way giving us five nautical miles of where we went get up to here. And then 25 minutes at 12 knots at 32 degrees. So 32 degrees this way, once again another five nautical miles to land us over here. If we wanted to find our final position, what we do is find both horizontal and vertical lines and using a rolling ruler, follow those across. So move some things out of the way, find a vertical line, move it to our final position and bring our final position over onto, in this case, our latitude. So our latitude starts off here at 149 degrees and this says 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes. So we have 50, 51, 52, 53 minutes. So just a little bit beyond 53 minutes, but we could easily say 149 49 degrees, 53 minutes, and that looks possibly about maybe maybe a tenth of a degree. A tenth of a degree would be six seconds. Sorry, a tenth of a minute would be six seconds. So 149 degrees, 53 minutes, six seconds would be our bearing. We would need to know whether that's east or west of... Uh, our prime meridian going through Greenwich. By the looks of the map, we have the Beverly Group, No Island. It's assumed to possibly be an Australian map. So in other words, we're most likely east of Greenwich. So that would be 149, 53 minutes, six seconds east for our, of our final bearing. And the last position going on. Let's find a nice straight line on our on our map. Roll down to our final position and transcribe our position over to the chart on the side. That one nice and neatly lines up with one of our markers. That's great. So we have 21 at the top there. A bit hard to see, but that's 21 degrees. And this is 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So 25 to 30 would be a gap of five. So each one of these would be a one minute gap. So 27 degrees, 25, 26, 27 minutes. 20, actually I'll just write this down here too. 20, 
21 degrees, 27 minutes. And because this is Australia once again, are we south or north of the equator? Well, we should be south. So 21 degrees, 27 minutes south, 149 degrees, 53 minutes, 6 seconds east is our final resting place for our boat.